In this video, we're going to continue working on this Unit 5 assignment, the Automo Blocks T9. In particular, we're going to be working on this part here, the passenger section. Start out by going to Inventor and creating a new part. I'm going to create work planes. I'm going to create offset work planes. We're going to duplicate the x, y, set the offset at zero. Create another offset work plane, the offset to the x, z, set the offset at zero. And one more, an offset work plane, offset from the x, y plane, set the offset at zero. And so now you'll see we have uh, three work planes. I'm going to go ahead and rename them. This one, the one that's going front to back. I'm going to call this a mirror. This one that's running uh, horizontal, I'm going to call it that, horizontal. And this one that's side to side, I'll call it uh, vertical. I'm going to create a new sketch. On the uh, vertical plane. I'm going to turn on construction and I'm going to project uh, these two line, these two work planes, create lines on the axis. Turn off construction. Select two point center rectangle. Select the origin. Enter 3.17, tab, 1.53, tab, enter. Finish your sketch. Extrude. We're going to go in both directions and uh, extrude 3.17. Select your fillet tool, set the radius to 0.3, and select these edges. Select OK. I'm going to create a new sketch on this face. I'm going to turn on construction and project my horizontal work plane and my mirror work plane. Turn off construction. Select centered rectangle. Select the origin. Enter 2.5. Tab 1. Tab Enter. Finish your sketch. Select Extrude. I'm going to remove material, and the depth is going to be 0.57. Select OK. Select your fillet tool. Set the radius to 0.2, and select these four edges. Select OK. I'm going to turn on, I'm going to go to my view menu and to visual style and select shaded with edges. Go back to 3D modeling and it makes it a little bit easier to see the fillets that I just created. I'm going to turn my model around. Create a sketch on this face. I'm going to turn on construction. Once again, I'm going to uh, project the horizontal and the mirror. Uh, work planes, turn off construction, I 
create another centered rectangle. Choose the origin. Make the width 2.4. Tab. 0.93. Tab. Enter. Finish your sketch. Extrude. I'm going to remove material. Same depth as of the prior feature. Select OK. Fill the tool once again. Same radius, 0.2. Select OK. So it should look like that. I'm going to create a sketch in the top surface. Once again, I'm going to turn on construction and project the uh, mirror work plane and the vertical work plane. Turn off construction. Choose the centered rectangle. Choose the origin. Enter 1.98, tab. 1.59, tab. Enter. Finish your sketch. Select Extrude. Select Remove Material. Set the distance to 1.07. And select OK. Select your fillet tool. Set the radius at 0.2. And select these edges. Select OK. Start a new sketch on this face. Select construction, project geometry, and project this face. Turn off construction. Select the line tool and select the end of this fillet here. Select that vertice and go over uh, 0.06. Enter. 0.06, enter, go across, and then close escape, finish your sketch, then extrude, we're going to remove material, and we're going to go through all, select OK. I'm going to mirror this feature to the other side. I want to select my mirror plane, but it's hidden inside the part. If I come over to the work plane, right click, and I could select auto resize, and it'll automatically resize itself to the size of the part. So when I um, make the part larger, the work plane will increase in size automatically. I'm going to select this icon here mirror. I'm going to select a feature. I'll select this feature I just created here in the browser. I'm going to pick a mirror plane. I'm going to select this, the mirror work plane, and select OK. And it mirrors this feature on the other side of the part. I go ahead and turn off the mirror work plane. Now I'm going to come up here, select here, and turn off visibility. It changed the material appearance. I'm going to select select birch natural polished. I'm going to change the material. I'm going to make it make it wood birch. Go ahead and save your part. Call it 5.2 T9 body. To create a new drawing, select New Drawing.
I'm going to go ahead and delete the right side view and the, the top view. I'm going to change the scale of the ISO view to 1 and change the scale of the front view to uh, 1.5. And create some section views. And point to the front view and just draw a line right down the center here. Right mouse button continue. Place my section view over here. Create another section view. Point to this front view. Place a line approximately here. Right mouse button continue. Place your section view up here. I'm going to create a detail view. Select this view, the front view. Select a circular shape. Place your cursor about here in the center of this detailed feature. And draw your circle about this size. Place your detail view here. Go to your eye properties, go to summary, and change the title to 5.2 T9 body, and then change the author to your name, and select OK. Go ahead and dimension the drawing as I show in the sample drawing that I provide you in the assignment. Export the drawing to PDF and submit it to a project lead the way to complete your assignment.